something called emphasis. Emphasis is how artists draw attention to the most important thing in their picture. When you put emphasis on something, you bring attention to it. You make it stand out and you make it noticeable. The way we are going to add emphasis today is by zooming in. Zooming in is when you get closer to something and it goes off the page a little bit. It looks bigger. It becomes the biggest, most important thing in your picture. So we're gonna look at how to zoom in on a sea turtle. Let's look at an example. Here's a photograph of a sea turtle swimming in the ocean. Do you notice how you don't see all of the turtle? You only see part of its body. The photographer who took this picture zoomed in or got closer to the turtle so that you can really see all the details on it. That turtle stands out. It's a very important part of the picture. It has emphasis. Today, as we draw our sea life picture, you're going to choose a sea animal and you're going to zoom in on it to give it emphasis or make it stand out. So be thinking about what animal from the ocean you might want to zoom in on and get some supplies. You're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. If you want to add color too and you have some markers and crayons handy, grab those as well. We'll draw a couple of sea animals together and then you can choose the one you want to do for your own picture. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. To make the turtle look zoomed in, I draw a big curve in the corner so you only see part of his shell. A little curve on top makes his head, and then if I do curves coming off into the edge, those are flippers. Remember, you won't see all of the turtle. Let's decorate his shell. I'm doing a smaller curve inside, and then I'm going to use a hexagon, a six-sided shape, with a straight line, two diagonals coming out, two diagonals coming back in, and another straight line. On top, I just start with my lines going out, and then I do my diagonals coming in. If you want to use different shapes inside your turtle, go for it. This is your artwork, and you can get creative with that shell. For me, I'm connecting those hexagons to the outer shell with little lines, and then I'm doing some curves around the edge. On his flippers, I'm making some texture with little circles. I'm doing some curves for his eyes so he looks happy and adding some bubbles for a fun detail. To make him look like he's moving, I'm adding some curves and swirls in the background. This one's a giant squid. I started at the top of my paper, went in like a triangle, came back out, and went to the bottom. I added a circle and a half circle to make some eyes and big curves to make the tentacles. I stop and I hop, stop and I hop, so they look like they're overlapping. Start on the edge of your page and just wiggle and curve in to make those tentacles. To make them look like they have little suction cups, I'm doing some circles down one side of them and I'm making them different sizes. This adds texture and makes it look more realistic. Remember, you're going off the page too because these pictures are zoomed in. So each of these little tentacles goes off the edge of the page so it looks like we're close. Now I'm adding a little fish friend. I started with an oval, I did a little tail and a mouth, an eye, and all the fins with some fun lines. Maybe another tentacle here, it looks a little empty. I'm adding those circles again to make the little suction cups. Let's try a fish zoomed in. So I'm going to start on the edge of my paper and curve in to a point and curve back out. Then I'm adding a circle and a half circle to the edge of the body so it looks like he's turned. Little bumps for some lips and curves for some gills. On the top and the bottom, I did some little curves to make it look like fins but notice they go off the edge of the page. Now I'm adding some little fish friends. So all I'm doing is I'm starting like an oval and then wiggling out at the end. I want it to look like things are coming into the picture. We're very close and zoomed in. Some bubbles and some little seaweed to make it look 
more realistic. I chose to finish and color my turtle, so I'm outlining or going over all the pencil lines with black. Now I sped my video up. You can go slow and take your time outlining yours. Time to color the turtle in. I'm using all different types of greens for my turtle, and I'm doing my best to color in neatly and nicely going in the same direction. This, of course, is sped up. Take your time when you color. I also change the pressure or how hard I'm coloring to make some areas darker and lighter. Here, you can see it over on my waves. I'm pushing hard over the waves so the blue is darker and it shows up. Then I'm coloring more gently in the background to fill the big areas in. There you have it.